In everyday life, breathing is so natural we don't even think about it. Until suddenly, you can't breathe properly. Whatever the cause, and there are many, this can be life-threatening. In such situations, the lungs may need additional support from a ventilator. To deliver enough oxygen to the bloodstream to supply the brain and other vital organs and help the patient get rid of carbon dioxide. The ventilator administers a precise mix of air and oxygen into the patient's lungs, either through a mask or via a breathing tube. There are different types of ventilators, all designed for different needs. The ventilators used in the intensive care unit generally have more advanced technologies. These ventilators need to not only keep people breathing, but also accurately monitor their lungs using a mix of airflow, temperature, humidity, and pressure sensors. If this is not done properly, there is a risk of damaging the lungs and other organs. But no two patients' needs are exactly the same. A premature baby, a grown adult, or patient with acute lung disease all require different levels of support which is why our ventilators have tools to personalize the treatment and protect the patient with every breath. Starting with just providing oxygen and monitoring the response, other functions can easily be accessed and applied if more support is needed. One challenge with being on a ventilator is that muscles directed by the brain to control breathing, such as the diaphragm, can lose strength if not kept active. To avoid this, Gettinger has developed a unique tool that actually reads signals from the brain, making the patient's own body control the ventilator. Studies have shown that this makes the patient more comfortable and, because the breathing muscle is kept active, there is a potential for the patient to come off the ventilator more quickly. Ultimately, the aim is to prevent any damage to the lungs and other organs and get the patient off the ventilator safely, seamlessly, and as soon as possible, so they can breathe normally again.